<laughs> the government trying to shut us down. As soon as, as soon as you, uh, as soon as, as soon as I want to sit down, it's a government shut me down. It's always the government. The government always want to shut you down when you're doing something. What up, fam? Definitely want. We're gonna say a quick prayer for Nipsey Hussle's family. Because I didn't see everybody was really talking about rest in peace, but we had a lot of conspiracy theories out here. So today we're gonna to talk. Today we're gonna to have an intelligent conversation about death, and we're gonna start off with prayer for Nipsey Hussle, his soul. We're gonna pray for Nipsey Hussle's soul. We're gonna pray for Nipsey Hussle's um, family, and we're gonna pray for him as an ancestor. So we're gonna start off like that. Please press 2. You can share this video uh, with your folks on your timeline or on YouTube, Coach Kaya, Team Taurus, ATL, right here, co-host, ride or die, trying to get his mic together. Peace, peace, Destiny Grind, at Destiny Grind, uh, and at Smoke and Grow Woods Tours, don't forget about that. I'm Team Zodiac, man. Oh, man, you gotta, you gotta fill me in, man, the first time on the... I'm Team Zodiac, you know, I'm Team, I'm, I'm Aquarius, baby, Team Aquarius in the building. All right. Yeah. So, um, what we do is have intelligent conversations, and today we're going to have an intelligent conversation about death. Um, some things, he's a little more expertise at in what his flavor is. Um, I'm a little more expertise in some of those, but when we come together, we always have intelligent conversations. Um, we believe in doing intelligent things and today and we are also really aware of what's going on and we have really noticed a bunch of silliness, stupidity on the internet about this whole Nipsey Hussle situation and the government. It was a hit. Black people this. Every time we try to do this, somebody try and take us down. We, I personally feel it's some bullshit. What you, do, uh, do, are, are you with the conspiracy theorists, or I mean, I think it was some street shit, me personally. Okay. And you know, reason I say that is because when when, when Pac got hit, I was waiting seven years for Pac to come back, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, because I'm thinking, I believe God that you know he wasn't dead. It was, it was, you know what I'm saying? Or if he was dead, they got him for because he was trying to wake black people up. But if you if you look at it and you understand the, the video, way, yeah, the, the, I mean the, the street shit. He he did some street he shit. He stumped somebody out, right? And Orlando and Anderson was a deal, right? Right. He's already been verified, right? And he got stumped out, right? If you do that, you gotta expect some type of retaliation, you know. And that's what happened in that case. But I don't. You, we don't know what's going on, in brother Nipsey's life, man. You know. But um, I mean, you seen the TMZ video? I mean, we just saw it. I mean, it was. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna get. So we just saw the. That looked personal to me. I mean, a, a CIA agent or, or, or any type of government agent shoots you and hits you like that, they're not gonna kick you and run off. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that kick is like, yeah, nigga, you know, something like that. So that let you know right there that was kind of personal, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Um. Before I even get too far into that, I'm going to talk about the real thing that's a fact is he did. Yeah. All right? So I'm going to talk about my real irritation with the whole conversation is the reaction of people to death, especially woke people. The What we're missing is a, we think that death is final and how much we're emotionally connected to people being here on the planet, but nobody is in Nipsey's shoes. It's not about um, what. Oh, his his family is without. Uh, he didn't leave his family without. 
He had some bread and he got and he laid it out. He knew that he was gonna pass one day. He probably didn't plan it out this early, but he knew he was going to pass. He already had systems in place. So they're not like wanting for nothing on financial, but we as a people, especially black people, especially the so-called so woke conscious people are always so stressed when somebody dies. Why do y'all react the way y'all react about death? Why do y'all, why, 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 why are they reacting like they react? And the reason I say that you react like you react because you studying everything but death. You talking about everything but death. Me, I've done a lot of study in death, have had a lot of near death experiences, and we wonder. And so I look at it and say, you are still holding on to life so hard that now this fact has came down of Nipsey is gone. How does Nipsey feel now? Because if there's no such thing as death and he don't crossed over into the realm of the ancestors, then why are you so shook? Why are people so shook? Death? Why are people Man, so shook? Why are people shook with death? Yes. Why are they so shook about death? Because of the unknown. And you don't know nobody ever came back from that shit and said, hey, look, man, you know, that shit wasn't that bad, blood. You never really, I mean, you see the low people, I mean, I never know nobody walk, came back from the dead like that. You know what I'm saying? I seen it read in the books. I mean, I don't know no Jesus Christ. Man, Christ these like jokers don't know nobody who built no pyramids either, and they believe in that. I understand, but I'm, like, I'm telling you, man, the human condition, bro, if you, the fear of the unknown, period. If you don't know what's going to happen next, it makes you like, yo, what's, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. They That's why people woke, afraid. Though. So stop hollering woke if you scared of something. I mean, why they ain't asking? Why they, why they ain't asking? asking? They, why they ain't asking about, uh, let's go study death then? Why ain't nobody going into that? If they so worried that's about it. I mean, they scared about. They scared of being broke. How about that? How about that? We start there. People are scared of poverty. They scared of being broke. And they go out and do something about that. They bought a life insurance policy. They set up an altar in their house for their ancestors. So then now, why is it that Nipsey Hussle is gone and you so shook? It's a wrap. It's a wrap. And then, here's the worst part, the government. The government, because he was going to do a Dr. Sabi documentary. I'm going to say real, real, real. Um, <laughs> Melissa says, stop hollering woke if you're scared. Thank you. What up, Team Aries? If you just got here, please press 2 if you shared the video on your Facebook or on your YouTube, any part of your social media. I appreciate it. Introduce yourself. Coach Kyrie, Team Taurus, Destiny Grind, Team Aquarius. Both of us will be right here in Atlanta in a, a green screen, new studio location. Right. So, why is it because, no, my statement that I put on Facebook was, if you say or believe that he got killed because of he was going to do a documentary of Dr. Sabi, then you stupid. You just stupid. You just stupid. You just stupid if you believe that and if you say it. One person for real, for real, y'all going to tell him I sell it, is Ali Muhammad. The sister sent me a video today of Ali Muhammad. And he's got to be like reacting out of your emotions. I always get you jacked up. You the I Ching King? What happens normally when you react out of your emotions? And historically, historically, when, when Heru fought his uncle said, if you're moving off of emotion, man, nine times out of ten, you're moving the wrong way. And your IQ dropped 30% too. That's a fact. Moving off of emotion? Emotion. When you breathe up, you know, they breathe emotionally and they do stupid shit and they wake up in jail like, I don't even know what happened because they're breathing. That's the, that's 666, six, six, boy. That's, that's like the breath of the animal. It's like six breaths a minute. That's, that's, that's getting into some dip. No, it's the same thing. Yeah, no, it is the same topic. Did we talk about the intelligent things? Are we having like intelligent conversations? Brushes, Eighteen brushes, something like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's the animal. But anyway, anyway, anytime you in you you dealing with emotion, and that's why we use spiritual tools like the E Ten. What you tell me? You thinking truck something? Today? What you tell me in the truck today? Huh? What you tell me in the truck today? Why he got hit? He ain't got no tools. He ain't got no tools. He ain't got no tools. I mean. 
that's, 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 that's a whole, that's, that's crazy. That's a different subject. But like I said, it's the same subject. It's the same subject. It, we're talking about death. An intelligent conversation about death is, is talking about tools. He is talking about all the things that's not being considered because everybody's reacting emotionally. I you know what? I, I, I with the Nipsey situation, man, I think the reaction was based upon the, 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 the shot that somebody could do him like that. I think, yeah, man. The shot? Somebody could do somebody like that? No, no. The shot that it can do him like that. What you mean? Okay, good. I got something for no, you. No, I'm just saying. That's, that's what, I think that's what more of a shock, like... For instance, if, if, if somebody said somebody woke me up yesterday and said, "Yo, they had released six nine, and he got hit," I mean the reaction is different. You kind of like expecting some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know, but somebody like Nipsey, who's putting in work and 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 yo yeah, hustling, hustling and motivating, you know what I'm saying? For him to get hit in his own community in front of his store, I think that's what kind of shocked people, man. You know. But there's a hex, it's, it's, there's a hexagram in the E Chain called the Fifty First Hexagram, Shock of Thunder. Mm. It said God created death, a, a man will forget about God. You know what I mean? So when shit like that hits you, it's designed to rock you and, and, and to constitute some type of change. So I, I know for a fact what happened to Nipsey changed the way I move and operate from now on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm gonna move a whole lot differently now. You understand? And that's that's what death is designed to do, especially when it when it shocks you like that, man. But and his and his and his uh I don't know. I don't know what caused that. I, I wouldn't have, we nobody was in this in this man's shoes. We don't know shit, beef is beef. If a nigga hate you, they coming for you. You know, it's, it's just that's, you know, they don't so, care about your fame, so, that type so of shit. That's why I say we have an intelligent conversation because we're not making no assumptions. No, we're not I don't Every, know what happened. Ev everybody's I'm not making an assumption about the the guy who shot him. Could have been a woman in drag. I'm not making an assumption, but I'm really not going, I'm not going to make an assumption and be like, because he was going to release and tell and wake the minds up of the people with Dr. Sabi. I ain't going that can, way can, can I say something about that? Real quick? The same thing you told me earlier? Yeah. Tell me about so, what, hold, hold, let me, let me, let me set you up. Why is that, why does that sound crazy to you that uh, we're gonna kill you because, because you're gonna you're release Doctor Sebi secret about carrying stuff like AIDS and yeah, stuff. Yeah, why is that crazy to you? Okay, <laughs> number one, <laughs> Sebi was a brilliant man, but okay. Sebi didn't have a magic pill that you take one day and you won't have AIDS tomorrow. That's not how it worked. You understand? It's a regimen. It's a reg. It's an actual. It, it, when, when Sebi was treating people, he created a regimen. Like here, first of all, all that bullshit you be eating. You can't eat that no more. Oh, that got to go. All right, how long that's going to take? To change your, your diet, man. Can I take one pill and change my diet? Nah, you can't take one pill, man. Sabi it take, didn't it have, takes about four months to... to Sabi didn't have a pill. He didn't have a magic pill. That made you stop eating crazy foods. He had to have a pill nah. that made you stop eating crazy food. Nah, he didn't have no pill for that. So what would it take for you to stop eating Discipline. crazy food over... What'd you say? Discipline. I can't hear you. Discipline. It would take you what? Discipline. Spiritual conditioning and discipline, like... Did he have a pill for that? He have a pill for that. He don't have a pill on his website now for nah, discipline. Well, well, now, the only pill for that is fear of death. That's why people did that shit, because they were afraid to die. That was the motivation for them to change their diet and change their habit. That's the only, that's why they say, that's why God created death, or less man will forget about God. That's the straightening of shit. Oh, here's this diagnosis. Doctors can't help you. Your ass about to die. You go see Dr. Savy. Dr. Savy say, hey, look, man, I got these herbs. I know what you're missing. I got a formula. I got a formula, but it was because of this bullshit that you've been doing that's killing you. So you have to, first you got to know, you can't, my grandma always told me, you can't put sugar on top of shit. That, it's just sweet shit, it, you know what I'm saying? So you got to remove this, and then I'm going to give you these herbs, you're going to go on this regimen, and then you got a chance to save yourself. You must agree to the formula that I'm giving you. So I don't think the government worry about people even having, because people can't stop eating this bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't, so you don't think the government was scared about the saving? Huh? They, 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 the government not, 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 the not saying that you still don't want the, I mean I, I don't you know I don't think the government I don't was think it was the they, they, they wouldn't I, afraid, I don't think they was afraid of them to the point where they killed Nipsey you understand what I'm saying you Dr. don't think Sabi? they was afraid of Sabi enough to kill Nipsey nah you, so you don't think well excuse me I, I'm asking you Sabi gone Sabi gone Sabi gone now some of his teachings 
there's a few people that still know his teachings. And, right. uh, 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 and we need to we need to honor these people that really understand and know Sebi's form. We need to honor them, treat them like they're supposed to be treated. We need to pay them respect and give them some money so they can expand and and could put this on the street. But you know what I'm saying? They not afraid. They wasn't afraid of Nipsey uh, bringing out a documentary telling about this shit. Because how many times you done told somebody to change their diet? Man, you better stop eating that shit. You you do the symptometry. How many times you done told me to stop eating some shit? And you I, you know. It, you, it, you know, it, it don't work like that. You, I it, can't get this joker to start putting lemon in his water. We just had some yeah, pizza. Let me say. He, he wanted to put lemon in the water. Hey, man. And I said no. I even, I had, I vetoed him getting the lemon. My man, Josh, before you got there, when we ate at Nam Stop, he was going to put some corn on his plate because it's a vegetable. And I said, nah, you can't put the corn on there. Guess what? Tomorrow, when he go over there tomorrow, guess what he's going to get on his plate? Corn. When he gonna get some water next time, they gonna say you want some lemon. Cause I ain't there. He gonna say yeah. So it's tough to get people to make small changes. I, I, I'm asking him to quit putting lemon in his in, in his water. And I had to sit there and explain myself. And he only been knowing me for about eleven years. Now and he see how I changed through my diet. And guess what? I still got to explain. So you thinking that because Nipsey. Is going to put out a documentary on Sabi that, that all of a sudden the no. United States government or the, the bad boy white man is gonna come at no. him? You stupid! They got a documentary out now called um um it's a juice it's, it's about uh they, they, they got some um diabetics tw- and they, they uh, brought him into the in our house for twenty one days and they cured him with the diet. I forgot twenty one days. Twenty one day fast. This juice fast. Listen. Yeah. When the oh, document- fat sick and nearly fat fat sick and nearly dead on Netflix. That's a documentary. That that killed a whole lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jokers are still, still eating. Eating. Yeah. Jokers are still eating dumb you know stuff. I mean? They still putting dumb yeah, stuff in their body. We, yeah, sometimes we I do it, you know. So I saw he ate something today. I'm not gonna snitch on him. I, don't, oh, no, I did no, he no, did no. do put something crazy. I was I, I'm I, saying, I, I can't no, be the food no, police no, all the no, time. Okay. So then the next piece is, but this conversation is about death. About death. Death, okay? That or death. To death. Yes. And what you can do about death so you stop fearing death, okay? But the causes of what Nipsey, now, but here's the piece. Let's talk about becoming an ancestor. Kalinde talked about this last week. Just because you die, you ain't no ancestor. You got to earn your ancestor spot. In my opinion, Nipsey should be on everybody's altar because of what he was doing, what he was contributing. He bought up the block, on the, he changed his life, the same spot he was hustling at, he hired his own, and he had a blueprint, and he was helping community. Those right there are ancestor qualities. Can everybody write type ancestor ancestor qualifications or qualified ancestor? That's it. Now, because I had to go back and look at my altar and was like, who's a qualified ancestor on here? Like, somebody on my altar, it's some, you know, they close family members, my blood, but they ain't contribute. They ain't contribute to the family. They was always negative. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you ain't no qualified ancestor. It's, uh, it, it, it's a word for exalted. Exalted. exalted ancestor. An exalted. Not a regular one, exalted. Ancestor. Right. You got it. Levels to this. Or oh, chefs. They would, and yeah, matter matter and blah never all men's teachings he calls calls them chefs. Chefs. Yeah, so chefs ain't a regular ancestor. No, nah, ain't a regular ancestor. Okay. It's an exalted ancestor. An exalted it's high esteem because of the character they live while they was on earth. Principles they live by. So you know if you if we can have a discussion about Nipsey Hustle being a chef, I'm with that. I, I haven't heard a lot of his music. I get in the truck tonight. What year was he playing that? 2009. So. In 09, he was talking about his credit score. In 09, he was talking about get your credit right. So that's an exalted answer. And he was using his vehicle. But you think that you're going to get killed for talking about credit? You know how many black people doing credit repair? We know a couple of them. Guess what? They'll be knocked off. So the government is following all black people who doing credit repair. You know how many people doing documentaries? So now they went to get Sabi. So, so, so now he's going to do this one about Sabi. And if the documentary comes out, the entire black race is going to what? The white government is going to crumble because this documentary, we're asking you to get out of your emotions, be intelligent, let your IQ go back up 30 points, and stop listening to stupid people. 
Look at where you're getting your information from. Are you even checking your info? But what do you know about death, though? What do you know about death? Comments, questions, feedback. What do you actually know about death? Are you, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, what do you know about death? Let me see everybody put the number on there. 10 means you know everything about it. You've done a lot of study. And it's 1 or 0, you don't know anything about death. And you're scared as hell. So the higher your number, me, I'm an 8. I'm an 8 on a scale of like my study, what I know about death, and my fear. Like I'm like, I don't have any fear of death because I can't die. Whether somebody shoot me or whether I die of suffocation or die in my sleep or some disease, the energy is going to live on. Nick, Nipsey is still going to live on all the time. Every time you think about him, he's not going to be here physically, but you got yourself in, you got yourself in his shoes. And that's my other problem is we always are identifying ourselves with the victim. Now, I'm not saying don't uh, mourn because if you and his family, just like in my family, we, I mourn for seven days any way I want. But then I got to go on and continue life. You study in the Moral Science Temple, it says you got to bury the dead and celebrate the living. Bury the dead and celebrate the living. Why are you celebrating? Why are you celebrating? I mean, uh, not celebrating, but you are affixing yourself to the victim. What's that going to do to your emotions? What's that going to do to how, how, how you are reacting to other situations in your life? You feel what I'm saying? And then you let social media, because it's all over the place. It's all over the place. Is dictate your emotions. What about the people who didn't know nothing about Nipsey Hussle? Nipsey Hussle. He only had four million, what you say, four million followers on Instagram. He didn't have a million followers on Twitter. So a lot of people don't know who Nipsey is. And if there is such a sinister, big, bad white boy, what you say earlier today? Jokers is, you take and make a conspiracy theory and ain't nobody, ain't nobody even done nothing. Just so you can get hype. T.I., I'm also super salty at him and his dumb ass. That's a, I'm just calling it like it is. I don't got his phone number. I'm not going on Instagram doing no Twitter fingers with him. But you can see when you sitting over there promoting people overreacting through um, through their emotions. Um, what you got to say, man? I'm going to go look at some of these you comments. Like huh? You like Tip? But we just watched Tip a clown. Tip been a clown since Kanye West. He's a clown. T.I.P. is a clown. His music is banging, but soon he start talking. His wokeness, he's, he, he's stupid. He's, he don't know nothing. He said, that's, he said that the reason, remember, T.I. says that the reason he gets killed is because somebody was hating on him because he was doing so good. T.I. said, well, when your greatness starts to come out, other people are all of a sudden going to start coming do something for you. That was personal beef, bro. From what I just seen on TMZ, that right there was real personal. Nipsey, Nipsey didn't try to run, and the dude walked right up on him. He walked right up on him, no mask, no nothing. He walked right up on him with witnesses looking. I wasn't there, but I'm going to tell you what I've seen in the video that you can find on the internet. Parroting other thoughts will increase your suffering. That's T.I. He's parroting somebody else's thoughts. Good point, Chris Enlighten. Uh, mindset is everything. That was Mario. The government was not scared of Dr. Sabre. That lifestyle would take a total mindset shift. Only a minority of people would even try it. Thank you, Brandy. Sure. <laughs> she, she hit that on the head. Dead ass. <laughs> only, yeah. only uh, people were talking about that he was killed because of Sabre. They don't even eat the Sabre diet. <laughs> Ooh, get him, Mooney. <laughs> get him. I should have had my, where's my other joint? Trying to get me something faster to read the comments. Um, they think that any information regarding death or the afterlife can be considered fact-based. Who died, came back, and told the story. Remember, the conscious community as a whole are generally considered conspiracy theorists. Conspiracy theorists. That's like what the whole thing was made up off of. And that's coming from Phil Valentine. That's coming from Anoko Rashidi. That's coming from even me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Sanetta, that whole network, you know, the whole thing is 
here's a super, super proof of what was going on with Corn and Tail Pro back in the day, but now there's still no education about death, all right? But there's ignorance is abound, just going everywhere. What you looking up over there? Somebody put you on or something. You got a book about that? Oh, uh, several, several. Well, I don't think it's several. I say the same thing about TIP. Some people stay mad at me because I do not support TIP. Brandon, you don't have to support TIP. TIP is a clown. As long, as long as he keep talking what he's talking, to me, that's 1,000% ridiculous. What up, Phelan? What up, Antoinette? Angelique? Um, I'm just looking through to see can I, do I miss any? Oh, so you saying our ancestors may not be qualified. I totally disagree. All of our ancestors contributed to our values and souls, whether it be positive or negative. We, will, we can all learn something from what they're saying. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You can't learn something from everybody. You don't need to learn something from everybody. That's the problem. When you read the newspaper, then you're easily influenced by low-level energy. You can't be mixing ships. What's the? Um, you can't be mixing inferior with inferior and think you're gonna get the same quality of lesson. If you put a king in the room and a slave in the room, why would you even try to find out what I can learn from a slave? He know how to escape, maybe. He know how to be a better slave. He may know how not to get killed. But are those the lessons that you want to learn? But if I learn, if I learn the king, the king is gonna teach me. Let's let's say we got Mansa Musa on one side and Toby. You want to listen to Mansa Musa and Toby? I don't want to listen to the slave ans to the slave ancestor. I'm honoring him, but he didn't earn his spot. What did he contribute? Yeah. Oh, that's that's me, Mario. Uh, not scared of it. Dwayne Moon said his energy is stronger now. Death is another journey in life. People are not checking info. They're just reposting stuff. Social media terrorists. That's what I call them. Anyway, you got a book up. What, so, what, what, what's up, what, what's the, up this book? From, so there's a book called uh, Nook. Uh, and I can we should put that. Well, it's not available. It's not a print. But uh, this book is it's called Nuk Amnata. I am a divine being by, by Ra Amnata. Amen. And so in this book, he's breaking down the. Uh, I mean, I know people probably heard of the forty two principles of Maya. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the negative it was called the negative confessions of Maya. What it was was it was a ritual. That our ancestors used to do nightly upon going to sleep because they believe when you go to sleep, you go to the underworld. So mm. you, you it's, it's like a judgment scene. So there's a it's called a judgment scene where they have you in front of all the netu, netaru, all the gods, and then you have Tahuti, you know what I'm saying? He's 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 got his notepad, he's writing he's like he's writing out the you know, your deeds and everything that you did that day. And then you have the scale, my eye. You got the feather right here. You got the the heart. And so the, the whole ritual saying is your heart has to be lighter than the feather. You right. know what I mean? So during a ritual, you will say, for instance, you will say, I have not, I have not lied. I have not stolen. I have not messed with my homeboy's wife. I have not did this. I have not that. Just learn a, a, a list of dirt. I have not sinned I have against not the sin earth. Against you know a right. list of sins that you have not done. If you could go, through, if you can go through that list nightly, and at the end of that list, go through that whole thing and haven't done none of that, then you can declare yourself a divine, a divine being or God. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So wow. it was a night. You know, saying so it was it was a nightly thing. So if if you if, if you went through the rich, ritual, then you you a divine being. So that, he was saying in this book. At death, there's a big judgment scene. Like in uh, American Gods, season one. I ain't seen that. But I pretty, what? Yeah, I ain't I seen that. The first that. episode. Like, yeah, I got to go back. And, that's on That's on stars, right? Something like that. You got the stick. What does it matter? Yeah, yeah. What does it matter? More TV. Get more TV, too. Put that in the link. Get more TV. Get, get more TV now. <laughs> now. You know, get all the channels. <laughs> but yeah, so in this ritual, you you know, at the, when, when you supposedly pass, you know the whole your whole thing was to prepare yourself every night, every night you were basically every night you preparing yourself for that time when you will pass, and 
the whole thing was if you could if you if you pass your judgment scene, then you would you know you would you would retain who you are. You remember everything. You would become a, a immortal. You pass on into another realm and, and, and do what gods do. But if you failed that, if your heart wasn't as light as that feather, meaning that you ain't you ain't do what you supposed to do on this earth. Mm. You might you might acquire all types of material shit, but you've been a piece of shit. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't worked on your character. You ain't did none of the type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You ain't did shit to improve your character while you was on this earth. You ain't worked out none of your kinks in your spirit. You just came down here bullshitted your whole life. Ain't made no contribution. Ain't that you? Pick, you, you basically you made you you not making yourself an asset. So if you if, you, if your heart was basically it was like this, you know. I, I got a little cartoon. I, I'll I'll show you one day. But anyway, your heart your heart was heavy. Then they took your heart and they threw that shit away. Symbolically, they erased your memory. So you don't remember none of this shit. So you come back to Earth, you don't remember what happened in your last life. You got a clean slate because you can't carry all that shit to your next life. And you're supposed to, you know, work on working your spirit. Now, this is all in that book, man. Check this book out. It's called uh, Not uh, Net. It's part of the uh, ancient comedic teachings, man. And, and you know, I, like I said, when, 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 when I read that book, you know, I mean, death is still something that, you know, people got to deal with as far as getting themselves mentally ready for that shit because you know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, you got to understand what's really real. You can't take none of this material shit with you. Only thing you take with you in the afterlife is your character. You understand? And I can say beyond a shadow of a doubt from what I've seen, Nip, how the way he, tra he transcended that gangbanging shit. Right. He was in the role in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? Right. So he transcended that shit. You don't even you, when, you don't even you don't even really listen listen to his music for any gang banging shit. You listen for some shit. He talking about credit. Right. He talking about buying right. back the block. He talking about uplift. He talking about principles. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. The dude right. character show. You can see that right. when when all these people came out to the block where he died at, and they start bumping his music. You know that's when you yeah it was his character that was celebrating. That's he was the, the shit. Chefs. Yeah, that's the shit he took from him. So. He it was a victory lap for him, man. It was a victory lap, man. He 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 transcended some shit that most people don't get to transcend, man. You know, people struggle with, man. And um, just you know, the material, the material, the material stuff that he did, man. That was cool, but you know, like I said, man, he transcended that, man. And if any, if if, if we could take something from that, man, is to work on your character daily, man. It's like, you know, fuck this money and all that. If you if you a piece of shit. You know what I'm saying? There ain't gonna be no answers. You ain't gonna, nah. I'm not making nobody's altar. Nobody making no altar to you? <laughs> Niggas gonna piss on your grave. You know what I'm saying? He getting hyped. That's why I like it when he get hyped. <laughs> Shit. He's seven feet tall. I like it when he get hyped. I, I want him to stay hype all the time. It would take a little while for him to get warmed up. But you're absolutely right. Yeah, man. If you, if you a piece of shit. But Nipsey wasn't no piece of shit. Nah, he wasn't no piece of shit. So now, but you still can't, you still can't be, ups, you, you still can't be upset about death though. Because until, because until, um, here's the other thing, karma. See, this is my daughter I was going to tell you earlier. You can't look at somebody for five minutes, five days, or five years and know what their karma is from five minutes ago, five months ago, or five lifetimes ago. So I don't know what, I know what good Nipsey was, it appeared that Nipsey was doing. I love what he was doing with the crypto and the, because you don't want to put me up on him with the blockchain. Yeah. And the video when he went to Amsterdam. I seen that already. I liked how he was moving with his uh, art of war movements. However, I don't know what he did when he was. What did he do to get in the Rolling Sixties? Well, I don't know. You can't just come in and fill an application out. You know what I'm saying? It's normally you got to do some dirt to get in. And the Rolling Sixties are not soft. Okay? They're not no damn choir group. So, um, I don't know whether he'd been locked up, whether he'd been in jail. I've been to prison, and I've seen people get away with things and not go to prison for what they got away for. They went to prison for something else. And then they went, whatever else they went to prison for, they was pissed. So, he was pissed about, it wasn't that much cocaine. It was only a little bit of cocaine. And the DA set me up. The, the, uh, my lawyer abandoned me. But then he get around the card table and start confessing about how he done killed two people. Who? You know where the three you know where the pennies is at. A piece of paper. What? 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 What?
see some. Tell them what you ready to have. Yeah, so we, yeah, we you know let's let's just find out, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask the high chick, man. Let's, let's do. A, huh, you might um, need that too. I mean, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Good. There this, you go. This 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 shit like this part ain't never been done on live. It's beautiful, right? This got Florida water, man. You gotta get you bottle this. Those who know, they know. See, I ain't touching his pennies either. He getting his own pennies at my house. When you come to your house to drop. Let me get some clean. You ever seen me touch? You ever seen me touch your pennies, uh, huh? You get your own work, right? So you, so you take your Florida water. I don't gotta get three pennies. I don't know why he okay. left. Yeah, I don't know why he yeah. left home. I don't know why he left home without his. But that's on him. You wanna put that Florida water on there? No. You stay strapped. <laughs> you stay strapped. Like I, I, y'all, I hope you don't think I was bluffing. If you ever seen me, if you ever seen me live or doing anything, the juju bag is the juju bag is on me with three pennies. This is my teacher who taught me about the who taught me the I Ching. Yes, there's an I Ching course coming. If I could get him to participate in it, it'd be one of you. Yeah, yeah. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, be, you ain't gonna be ready. I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. You gonna, you gonna take too long. You gonna get it done. Right. Not everybody got this playing around just like that. So <laughs> you special dude. You can't go to everybody's house and you got Florida water just hanging out. Huh? So I'm going to ask basically uh, what were, were, were the spiritual forces governing the death of Nipsey Yes. See what happens. Let's see what they say. I need to go get. Let's go get the. Let's go get a couple of these chains out of here. So what you want to do when you, when you doing when you doing reads, man? You want to use three pennies. The heads and tails. All mathematics. This ain't no hocus pocus. This is real science. And then we'll, like I said, we'll explain this to you later. Got your books. Okay. We want to make sure we get <laughs> some clear interpretations out here. When we get the hexagram, what you'll be able to do, you can go type in, you can just go to Google and type in the hexagram and see for yourself and get your own interpretation. You should, you in your household, you should have a, you should have two or three e chains. Okay, the ones we recommend are, of course, the e chain praxis by Raoul the first of men, the e chain book of answers. By Wu Wei, like this, the like how I classified them. This is the this is well. Hold on, let me finish the introduction. And then the book of the I Ching, the Book of Changes, a guide to life turning points, by Brian Brown Walker. Brian Brown Walker. So this is my Glock. This That's one here. Glock? This is my Glock. I I, I ain't even got that in Austin. But it's okay. But, but but I'm gonna show you why. This is my Glock. Hold on. Wu Wei is the AK-47. You got a choice between an AK-47 and a Glock. Which one are you going to grab? Okay. Right. And then, and then, the, pr the Praxis is a bazooka or maybe a, maybe an F-15. Nah, nah, that's, what's them big, them big rounds come up, them big ass military guns. Some 50 Ks? 50 Cows, that's the 50 Cal. It go too slow though. That's too slow? 50 Cal go, well, if it coming out yeah, fast, it, if it's coming out rapid. This will put a big hole into some shit. This is a 50 cal going boom, 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 Right. But, but man, give me the 50 cal. This is this is a serious situation. Oh, I go I go to the E chain then. We yeah, double we down. Like, both of them? Okay. Yeah. Well, so we got, we got 44. He do this in his head. I got to go to the back of the 44. Boat. It's all good. 33. Okay. I know 33 because I, I lost a lot on that one. I went from an air mattress to a mattress, no, air mattress to a mansion, back to the air mattress with that. But check it out, so 44. So, hold pause. You want to do yours work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to hit with the 50 cal first? No, 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 no. You work up to the 50. That's okay. how I do them. But one of the things that we discussed was when you said Nipsey didn't have no tools. What did, when you said Nipsey didn't have no tools because if Nipsey would have had three pennies and some Florida water and knew how to hit his divination tool, Finish that sentence. Then what? Would he still be here? I don't know. I can't say that. You know what I'm saying? But I would definitely tell you he would have. 
it changes the way you move. It changes the way I move. You know what I'm saying? It changes the way I like, move. Like, you know, if you get into it with somebody and you and you pause for a minute and say, yo, what should be my conduct with this person? You know what I'm saying? The team might give you a, a better way of handling the situation versus you. You know what I'm saying? But um, I'm going to go to the Glock first because the Wu-Wei get loose. I can't. Yeah. Oh, nah, don't go to that, man. Huh? Don't go to that, man. Uh, you ain't, I mean, I'm telling you, you can test drive this right here. Test drive this right here. You ain't seen this? Watch. I don't know, man. I ain't never used this one before. That's what I'm saying. I like, you know, it's these are right. tools right it's, here. But watch this how it works. Watch this. Go ahead, man. Let's see. Yeah, go ahead. 44. It is a dangerous hour. Mm. Through an eruption of our inferior nature, darkness has interrupted the flow of light. The inferior can be quite seductive, and we might not resol resolute in resisting Stop it. Stop that right there. Let's talk about that. Whoa, part. wait a minute. Now, hold on. You, got, you can't see. You, you, you know, listen. That's, I like that already. Already. <laughs> I'm feeling that. Already. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Inferior. Inferior nature. How many people? What is that? How many type of people is there in the world? It's three types of people in the world. Inferior. Superior. Who's the third one? And the sage. And the sage. And the sage. Wow. The sage trans, yeah. He, that's what, that's the, the superior man eats from the sage. Superior man learns from the sage. Superior man learns from the sage. Learns from, that's the pot. Like if we read the study of the I Ching, it's the fifth, the, 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 the hexagram that represents this book is called the 50th hexagram, which is a big ass pot. What you eat from? The cauldron? The cauldron. Superior men eat, from, you know, they, they prepare the food, they, they take bowls and they put the they put it in the bowls and they break it down so the inferior man can eat from it and learn. Look what it said, darkness reappears unexpectedly. Yeah, caution fine, and retis ca caution and reticence are in order. It is a dangerous hour. It's a dangerous hour, man. Though through an eruption of our inferior nature, darkness has interrupted the flow of light. What do we call life? The flow, flow of light? That's what, that's what Nipsey was doing. Nip, 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 Nipsey represented that flow of light, but that darkness come and interrupted that flow. Was the inferior nature. The inferior nature. The inferior can be quite seductive. They said it was somebody in his circle. Niggas. Who knew him. Niggas. Niggas. And if we are not resolute in resisting them, the moment can be lost to misfortune. Sometimes, some, some, sometimes you got to stay away from niggas. In your circle, you got to be careful who the fuck you got in your circle, man. It's real talk. Man, we ain't sugarcoating this shit, man. Keep reading. In oneself, this is a time to examine motives. Those which are questionable honor should be uprooted and discarded. Those which are questionable honor are of the questionable honor should be uprooted and discarded. If you went and shot the head man who was bringing all this to the block, then, and y'all couldn't sit down and talk about whatever the situation, the beef was, then we know that you are not one of honor. Be wary of situations that engage your ego and tempt you into anger, self-righteousness, or desire. So I have to pause right here and go back to what I reminded you. Remember when Nipsey slapped that boy at the BET Awards? Yeah, Nipsey was out of... I don't know what the man said. Yeah, I don't know what... I mean, some... Yeah, what... Well, <laughs> but Nipsey... But Nipsey... Your emotions take over when you just slap a nigga. That's, how, that's what happened. And look how much you got to lose. Yeah, you can't yeah. sue him. That shit could have... Yeah. Because once you become an influencer and you get in that position, it's not saying you can't be a Hope. man and don't put... And, and don't put... Hoes. Streets is watching. Streets is watching. It's hard not to... What's the line? It's hard not to. It's like a full time job not to. You know what I'm saying? It's hard not to kill niggas. It's a full time job not to kill niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, it's hard. It's the, the level of disrespect somebody can bring to you. It's hard not to come at them. You know what I'm saying? It's some shit. So so you know, it's hard. Be wary of situations that engage your ego and tempt you into anger, self righteousness, or desire. Actively employ your higher nature to test the correctiveness of tempting ideas and circumstances. So did he move right? You got to answer that. Yeah, and he got to answer it now. Yeah. I, I, obviously, for somebody to go... Listen, for somebody to leave a scene, go get a pistol, and then walk back and shoot you in broad daylight in front of... While you're in a conversation, something, something has got that man off in his emotions. You got to be in a high emotional state. His IQ yeah, had to be yeah. down sixty to ninety yeah, points was down, at right. that time, right there. All them cameras out there. It's a, it's cameras everywhere <sighs> in Cali. He just lost. In your conduct with others, this is for Nipsey. Practice modesty, independence, and patience with great discipline. 
Avoid anger or arrogance at all costs. Withdraw whenever you cannot meet another in a balanced, independent way. Neither encourage another or forego his balance, nor indulge him if he does so. Pause. We know that the facts is he tweeted what right before he died? It's good to have strong enemies. Why are you giving in? Why are you giving in energy to your enemies? You feel what I'm saying? Again, withdraw into stillness if the circumstance indicates the presence of inferior influences. Reticence and self scrutiny are the order of the day. Forty four. Line, line, line two. Line two is the action line. So like the, the whole house is the situation. Line two is the action line. A dark impulse clings. Do not resist it with violence. Oh, what? What? Just, just your first time. <laughs> what? Yo, what? A yo, y'all see uh, this ain't no we. Yo, whoa. A dark impulse clings. Do not resist it with violence. Simply decline to express it and wait patiently, concentrating on what is correct until it passes. Did He's you, supposed did to. Who shot him? Lost it. He felt disrespected in some way. And he reacted with violence. And One of the questions that we ask, what do we ask? What were the spiritual forces governing the situation when Nip got hit? Right. These we, are the forces behind the scenes is motivating the, the, the behavior of the participants in this action. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That's what we asked. Are you going to? Okay. That's how I do. I go up. I go up okay. from the block to the floor. Damn, I got to get this. Okay. Return of the Dark Force is the name of this guard. Mm. In this guard, the Dark Force returns suddenly and unexpectedly. No matter what its form, whatever, whether it's malicious or evil minded person or as a temptation or an influence, it will in some way be a bad influence and cause harm. Damn. Cause. There was a bad spirit in the air. 44 Oh, blue pill You dropped 44 <laughs> Yo, pill <laughs> Yo, you gonna love this one 44 <laughs> 44 If the dark force is a woman She's of great power Boom, 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 boom If the dark force is a man He may appear good natured and harmless But he is not On the contrary He is powerful And bent on bringing harm to you And those in your circle <sighs> This book Th is crazy Three people got shot those in the circle. Yo. Do not give him any power or associate with him in any way whatsoever. Damn. Do not be deluded into thinking that because he appears harmless, you can safely spend time with him. <sighs> Niggas. Yeah, Nipsey yeah, and somebody around, in this. Bro. Right. Um, because this is that is how he obtains influence and finds opportunities to cause you harm. That's how he walked up on Nipsey and Nipsey just didn't pull his ratchet because he, he didn't think old boy was going to do nothing. Resist him from the outset. This is a dangerous time for you and for everyone around you. To counteract the dark force, you should develop a plan to protect yourself, your family, group, or organization. Alert everyone about the dark force and warn them of its potential and harm for harm. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Now, what you said earlier, what you asked me, you asked me if Nip had his tools, would he still be here? I can tell you for a fact. If Nip had came to somebody like me or he and we like, yo, the situation just happened, wa -da 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 -da, and I would have done a reading and I'd have seen this right here, I could have told him to watch that nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He'd have moved a whole lot different. He wouldn't have been standing out there just, you know, niggas would have been, look, this is a nigga you need to watch. Ret and then it go into 33, which is retreat. Nigga, wait till the next sentence. Oh, man, go ahead. Take appropriate steps and precautions to neutralize the danger in this crucial time. He ain't even got to interpret that. If I'm doing a reading for you and, and, and it's come up and you just said I got the phone with an enemy and I look down and say, take appropriate steps and <laughs> precautions to neutralize yeah. the danger in this crucial time. There ain't no okay, interpretation. Yourself. There's no interpretation. If the dark force gains even a toehold, it will quickly grow to alarming proportions. And look what comes down. The fire alarm. Damn. You can't make this up. The police drive by as we say alarming proportions. It will be to your advantage to begin a project at this time. It will, 
it will be to your advantage to begin a project at this time. I mean, get yeah, do some do some other shit. Get the hell away from the niggas. Read line two. Line two: A prize or treasure is attracting the dark force, but you have the strength, resources, and position to oppose it, and you must do so to prevent it from contaminating those around you. Avoid any use of force and continue to follow the path of utmost integrity, but do not relax your efforts until the dark force has been vanquished completely. You need not display hostility to it, as hostility might actually work against you, mm. but you must maintain a complete resolve to stop the dark force before it becomes too strong for you so to overcome. So, I mean, from, from me, Rain, I, I think, I'm thinking that whatever that situation was, Nip was trying to remove this person from a situation. You know what I'm saying? He probably, you, you know, you know he's a nigga, get the fuck away from him, man. You know, you know, you, you weren't supposed to use force because the force will work against you, but you need to get this person away from you. You know what I'm saying? He probably did it in the wrong way. You know what I mean? Damn. Then what it go into? Then it goes into 33. Read 33. You ain't gonna go, ain't going to the bazooka for, for, for... Oh, oh. You ain't, ain't going, going to, to the bazooka? bazooka for 44? Hey, you got yours all marked up? You got notes? What? It's not a game around here. <laughs> what you mean? So, in the bazooka, this is this is actually called you know this is uh the I Ching Praxis by Ron F. R. Me. This is this is I think one of the coldest versions of the E Ching man. But uh, so forty four hexagram coming to meet, coming to meet. That's when shit hitting the fan. That's when shit comes to meet. Collide. Yeah. Hexagram 44 is composed of chin above. When you're saying chin above, it's talking about you, hexagram. It's the top three lines. It's the top. So when you ever see, if you ever seen a, um, the Korean flag as an example, you can just go look at the Korean flag. Was it South Korea? They have these these symbols. You see them in a lot of martial arts. They're called uh, trigrams, you know. And so the, uh, the, the hexagram is made of two of these trigrams. So at the top, you had you got the three straight ones, which is chin, and at the bottom you got sun. So it says hexagram forty-four is composed of chin above and sun below. The combination of the strength of chin with the ideational motivational motivation of sun is used to indicate the presence of presumption of strength. Presumption of strength. You presume you got strength in the situation, but you really don't. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Thus, the subject of the hexagram absorbs power or act beyond his or her station, takes liberties, is lacking in borders, etc., etc. This hexagram provides instructions on how power is absorbed and how to prevent a seizure. In most cases, the absorber came to power because the leader's lack of foresight, carelessness, indulgence got caught slipping. Or misjudgment lent the encroacher the power to rise. He dropped his guard. In the sphere of human behavior, evil can only gain the upper hand when we have advocated our power and freedom of will by neglecting our spiritual work. Pause. Neglecting our spiritual work. Not having no tools. Not having no tools. Not having no adequate protection. And what and what am I on you hard about lately? What you offering? What's your offering? Spiritual work. Listen, there's a difference between your offering to the community. And then you're offering to the gods. You're for, for protection. You see what I'm saying? It's cool to be wearing heavy, heavy gold. But you better put a medallion on one of those joints that's got some real power. A ankh is, a, an ankh is not a magical talisman. Okay? It's not. It's not. It's a representation of an ideal and... It's a mathematical formula about electromagnetism. But having an onk on is not going to protect you. Having on a, a, a piece of black tremoline is not going to protect you. You need on something heavyweight, and it's got to be connected to something. Like, what is your altar doing where you have protection at your altar, and you got protection on your person, okay? And, and that's your tools. All that's inclusive of your tools. 
Everything at the table, the plate is a tool for dinner. The knife is a tool. The fork is a tool. The, 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 the saucer is a tool. The cup is a tool. The thing you pull the sugar cubes out with, all of those are tools at the setting of the table. So set and setting is very important for your, pers for your spiritual tools. Please continue. Okay. Would you finish with the hex ground? No, nah, so the, the problem can be avoided and, recti and rectified by the leader or ruler to make sure that the laws that are in place for the maintenance of order are clearly disseminated and understood. It is thus that his or her power is preserved. I take from that, that sentence right there, Nipsey was a boss. Facts. So, ways, you know, bosses got to move certain ways in their organization, man. And, um, you know, rules and all that type of shit. You know, that Protocol. kind of protocols and stuff right. like that, right. man. And, and I think um, some protocols was probably ain't what we wouldn't follow, man. And um, in this situation, the force was used. You know, too much force was used. And that shit led to emotional responses and... And emotional responses and a heavily armed population, my nigga. On Slauson. On Slauson, that shit that shit erupts in gunfire. It, you know, that that's just how it go, man. That's that that story what happened in Nipsey happens all the time. It was just Nipsey that got hit. He you know his first album was called? You know the title of his first album? Bullet ain't got no name. Bullet ain't got no name. She said forty four, Nip was in an eight personal year. You pulled forty four. She said Nips was in an eight personal year. Wow. Right. Numbers don't lie, man. Numbers don't lie. So check it out, though. It says, uh, the hexagram likewise applies to a person's spirituality. Negative inferior ideas and conditions are ruling in a person's being in place of the true strength. This has come about due to strongly held wrong beliefs. I mean, it's the way you come up or how you handle situations. So remember, Nipsey was 33. Nipsey hadn't finished his journey yet. You no. know, he still had some, he was, he was evolving, you know, he still was evolving. Right. He was just still, he coming in out the streets, you right. know, he had the right. street, right. street shit is different. He right. had, he he's had the street, yeah. fast. it's different, a different type of ways you handle shit in the streets and those street, those street principles on street beliefs created the situation. And when you move from streets to stardom, that's a whole nother video. When you move from streets to stardom, he's hanging with Steph Curry. He's in this Afrotech startup oh, community. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have to straddle the fence. It's real tough talking yeah. about which one you're going to be true to. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Whew. So this has come about due to strongly held beliefs, strongly held wrong beliefs, and the downgrading of the negativity of the transgression. Solution to the problem in the personal and social spheres is shown by the complementary hexagram. So the complement of 44 is 22. So it says hexagram 44 and 24. 20, 20, my bad, 24. Hexagram 24 and 20, 44 and 24 are complementary. The 24th hexagram is exemplified by the customary observance of the winter solstice in ancient China. During the immediate period leading up to it, the four days of it, the period after, the People retire from all worldly activities to engage in meditation for self-renewal and spiritual growth. Similarly, the subject of the 44 must set aside for a while his presumption of great strength and return to his proper station. Meditation would be so basically, yeah. So back to what you were saying, man, that 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 line you walk between the streets and this legit shit. And stardom. And stardom and all that type of shit right. is a you know, it, 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 he he crossed back. He crossed over into the streets, where he should have retreated back into this. You know, he he, he should have retreated back into this other lane. Cause at stardom, he could have called the police. I'm gonna call the police on you, son. But he was like, no, nah, I gotta, I, I gotta keep the streets. What you mean? When you in stars, huh? that's what Kevin Durant does. That's what Man, Steph niggas, Curry does. Nah, nigga like Nip would die before he do some shit like that. He did. I know. That's what I'm saying. You know? What's more important, though, yo? All that dying over my principle. I'm yo. just saying, yeah, that's what happens, man. We ask, we ain't asking what happened. We just, that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Now, line two, negative conditionings are to be removed by meditation. Pause. Reasoning. Pause. You stop at meditation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, niggas don't meditate. 
Nobody, y'all niggas just get out there and get with stardom, and you ain't really, and you ain't meditating. Keep, keep you know what, it, what the case of, yeah, 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 yeah. Reasoning and understanding, not by strength. So you don't handle all situations with strength. You got to use reasoning in the situation. And um, that would use it to my strength was used and somebody got killed, man. You know, it, and those are the spiritual, that's the spiritual reason behind, you know, I'm ready to the outcome. The outcome, nah, that should have been, that was the solution you read. You're reading the solution. This one, this one could have saved us. So in the I Ching, you got what happened. That's the first hexagram, which was 44. Mm-hmm. So you can just type in hexagram 44. Somebody type in hexagram 44. Then you look at line two, you're going to see that's the action. And then the solution is 33. Really, because retreat could also be like mourning. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's re- number what they should have done. done. Ah. So 33 is the solution. So the next, the last hexagram, what it moves into, 44 changes in the 33. Like the, oh. Oh, 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 Let's say you you in the club, you get into it with a nigga, like, like, yo, he going out to his car. Oh, you won't stay there until he get back with the ratchet. You know what I'm saying? No, you 33. You peel out. Cause you ain't got you ain't got you whatever, you know what I'm saying? So if if they had got into it prior to that happening, you probably should have left. You should have left the area, retreated, fall back or something. I don't know. He should have probably fell back, man. But uh, you know, hindsight is 2020, man. Was that you the one told me about the difference between the numbers? Look up and look up that hexagram, or was that Dr. Abbott? So what now? The difference. So 33 to 44 is 11. Nah, that's, I, I don't know that, that, that method. Yeah. So that's what I, that's yeah. what Amso do. He go over and see the difference, which is the piece. But we ain't going yeah. yeah. to get to that yet. So the 33, this is a time for disengagement and retreat. <laughs> In stillness, you are out of reach of danger. Nipsey was supposed to fall back. Way back, and this team, from what I see, I don't think this whole team, this squad, would not be, this security would not be like they were supposed to be. I don't think the niggas was out there like that. He was too, he was too approachable. He was too, yeah, he was too approachable. Yeah. It is inherent in the design of life that forces of darkness and disruption come into prominence from time to time. This hexagram indicates that this is a such time and advises you to respond by quietly retreating, mm. to struggle or resist in anger, which is what he did on Twitter. I'm resistant. It's cool for me to have a strong enemy. To struggle or resist in anger now is to add fuel to the fire of negativity which threatens to consume you. A superior person accepts there is a natural ebb and flow between the forces of light and dark in the world. You can't win every you can't win every one. You can't be tough in every situation. You have to yield. Sometimes you have to be real strong, sometimes you have to be real, real yielding. Wisdom lies not in resisting these movements, but in responding to them appropriately. Just as a plant which sprouts in the dead of winter is doomed and one which sprouts in spring flourishes, so is it with us. Success and prosperity accrue to those who advance in times of light and retreat in times of darkness. To retreat now is to benefit in the end from the changing tide. It pause. Also says retreat is not the same thing as surrender, capitalism, or abandonment, which is desperate and unsatisfying measures. Let me tell you how what I know about the streets and what I know about Street niggas. In order to survive in the streets, you have to have some degree of instincts. Agree or disagree? So what? In order to survive in the streets, you have to have some degree of instincts. Yeah or nay? Yeah. So these instincts is what got Nipsey where he was at. His instincts. Mm -hmm. So I can't sit here and think that Nipsey was instinctively his instinct. His spidey senses didn't go off and say, it's danger coming close. Because he done probably been in several situations of danger. Yeah, that's just a way of life, man. That's it. That's a way of life in that part, you know. It's lost a little. He had to been accustomed to it to still be doing business there to be there every day, man. That's something he was accustomed to. Because he, he certainly could have. He certainly could have. But look, he certainly could have brought some property on Rodeo. He had the bread. He had the credit. He could have started. He could have started a business in another part of the country, in in, uh, in another part of his own city. I'm just saying hypothetically. Yeah, he was trying to 
but that's guess another what? reason. Though. No, that's, that's another. Reason. That's, that's, that's I mean, yeah, but that's another feeling for me. Like, look at what your people do for you when you start to start in your community. That's what I'm saying. That changed the way I move, man. What? Like, I mean, like, man, open. It. I mean, like, you want to give back, but you want to put yourself in situations. I can give back through this camera right yeah, here. I can give back man. through this YouTube video. That shit's like, man. I'm going to put myself in a situation, like, to try to carry that much pressure. You know what I'm saying? To to want to put the whole weight. I'm not putting the whole weight. Of, I'm not responsible for my community. My role model is me leaving. I don't stay in North Carolina anymore. I'm not in Stedman anymore. I'm not in the 2-6 anymore. And I don't have to go back and develop Fayetteville, North Carolina for me to be some type of success. This is what it goes back to. You don't owe anybody anything. That's the lesson I learned from Nipsey. He don't owe anybody anything. And the first, as my man um, Saint posted, he said, the people who have come back from near-death experiences who have seen the light, they said their first breath on the other side was like a man coming out from drowning underwater. They wanted to stay on the other side. A lot of people wanted to stay on the other side once they experienced in a near death. And then they had to say, I got to go back. Black Panther, he was like, yeah, I got to go back. I'm, I'm going to go back. Remember when he had the near death experience? When, they, when it was, he went back and talked to his father? You remember? In Black Panther. Yeah. When he had the near-death experience. Right. It was joyful. The other side of death ain't nobody, um, nobody when they dying ain't missing you humans. Nipsey, oh, yeah. Nipsey's not missing his daughter. He's not missing his wife. He's not missing that unless he's uneducated about the afterlife. That's when the ghost form come up. That's when you uneducated. When you think that you just need to hang around here. to see your mission is complete. Because now they martyred you. Here's the other thing I got to say about the conspiracy theorists. If the government kills you, it shows you that you're right. They don't want to kill you like that. They want to try to get you on some um, um, child sexuality charges. They want to defame you first. If they come out and kill you, that means you was a threat. Nipsey wasn't no threat to the establishment. He wasn't going to change how things were done in Miami because of what he did on Slauson. Not this year. He was going to have to be around another 20 years. He was going to have to see 55. You see how Jay is moving? Jay like, let me get to 50. Jay-Z is 49 years old. Nipsey was signed to title. He was, he was getting some, you know, some education from the OGs, but you got to be able to stick around if that's how you're going to move in order to get stuff done. Yeah, yeah. I think and that's and that's what and I, I think that's, that's 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 part of what people feeling like, you know, something was stolen from them, you know. But that's my problem with people is you saying you so woke but you so scared of death. Bob Marley say everybody want heaven, nobody want to die. Everybody want heaven, nobody want death. How you think you gonna get there? Stop wishing for heaven someplace else. You got heaven right here. Nipsey built a heaven and stayed in it, and now he going to another heaven. Rest in heaven. Rest in paradise. Why is everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the most irritating part about me, yo, is the conscious community getting off in their emotions, saying somebody killed him because he was doing good. That's the same thing you said getting out the truck today. <laughs> he got the Smoke and Grow Rich Tour. CoachKLive.com forward slash 420 money. That's the link. CoachKLive.com forward slash 420 money. He trying to educate cats on the Smoke and Grow Rich tour. So if he got out the truck today and the traffic was coming and he got hit by a car, what was somebody going to say? What did you say they were going to say? They stopped us from teaching black people to sell weed. Yeah, the government <laughs> was following Tariq around from his crib to the Atlanta Tech Village, waited while he was inside for an hour, then followed him all the way down to Edgewood Pizzeria, then watch him park two times and then wait till he get out the car and then another car come and hit him and be like, oh yeah, you know, Tariq was going to teach black folks how to make money selling weed. He was going to show them how to get in the gangs or the government had to take him out. Now, not to say, not to say they don't get down. You know, we ain't saying that. But we just saying not every 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 time something happens, you can't, 
you can't just immediately run there, man. You know? they, right. They're not necessarily... Bro, they got bacteria warfare. They can shut your website down. They have all types of other things. They got scandals that they'll put on you. That's what the name of the show was. They like dealing in scandal now and smear tactics. Right now, Nipsey, he's immortalized. The government is like, we should have more protection. We got to find this guy who killed him. We got to find this guy. Because they can't let it go down like the same way Pox went down. Withdrawal and retreat. The forces of darkness are growing stronger. To protect yourself, remove yourself, your assets, and everything important to you from the situation. Because this is a condition of time, it will pass away in its own accord. Man, if you just avoid some stuff for a little while, some people's emotions. You sitting around with a pistol for a little while, you can you, you gonna think that thing through. Nah, I ain't gonna do it like this. Let me catch him when it's dark. Broad daylight? Now, 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 remember now, this could, this, this, this could be talking not just from Nipsey, could be talking about dude too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He, but this is a condition of time. It will pass away its own accord. But while it continues, withdrawal is the only appropriate course. It, because when they catch dude, they're going to hang him. They're going to hang him. It is, though, it is through retreat that you will achieve your success. However, do not let your withdrawal be rash, abrupt, hasty, or frantic and disorganized. Instead, act with caution after you have devised a carefully thought out plan to remove yourself and your assets from the situation. If you are involved in a conflict, if somebody went and got a pistol on somebody else, there was a conflict. Your retreat is not a surrender, but rather a strategic withdrawal that will allow you to replenish your forces, conserve what you have, and develop a new plan that will lead to victory. Let's pause. What's the three type of people? Sage. Superior man and inferior man. The sage stands in victory. The superior man is always striving for victory. And the inferior man is not even thinking about victory. So we know it's an inferior man. How are you going to win in this situation that you can come up here and shoot somebody in broad daylight in front of four or five people? Avoid exhausting yourself or depleting your assets at this time. Nor should you make any all-out efforts to force your advance. Don't pull the pistol on somebody. Mm -hmm. For they will fail. If a personal group wants you to join them, it would be in your best interest to gently extradite, extricate yourself from them in the situation and then to make yourself unavailable to them. Somebody was supposed to be coming to me. Both, just, just both sides. Both of them should have fell back. Following the guidance of this Gua will lead you to success. Dang. That's the sage. Because the, the I Ching is the sage. Only superior men go... And consult and superior women go and consult the I Ching. So, and that's and that's why we having yeah. an intelligent conversation about death. Numbers don't lie, men lie, men lie, men lie. Numbers, numbers, numbers don't. Yeah, this 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 is nothing but a form of behavior modification. That's it. It's how you modify, how you weigh your emotions and situations against. Oh, what's can good. we call it behavior and character modification? Yeah. Behavior and character, you call it that. Behavior and character. That's what leads to your destiny. What, what is your, 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 your thoughts lead to your actions. Your actions leads to your, uh, your your behavior. Your behavior leads to your character, and your character leads to your destiny. That's what destiny grind came about. That's what destiny grind came about. I didn't even know that. Yeah. So if you change your, if you can change your thoughts, your actions, and modify those, you can alter your destiny. You know what I mean, so these, you know, these tools ain't available. It was these tools which were, were stolen or taken away from us, and people threw all the stigma on it, and people we don't use them. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. Them. Here you go with the conspiracy theory that somebody stole something from us, man. I, I'm the opponent that jokers is lazy. I'm telling you, niggas is lazy. lazy. They don't want to study each chain. Long as you've been doing oh, Destiny Grind, yeah, why yeah. you ain't got a hundred? Oh, why, why, why you ain't got a thousand students, nah, man? When I said stolen from me. Why you ain't got a thousand students? Why? That's because I, I hadn't sold out a thousand students. It's, that should be seeking you out. Yeah, it should be. I didn't put myself out there as... Come, well, I did. Did you see I, Kill Bill? Huh? Did you see Kill Bill? Part two? Yeah, I seen it. When Beatrice wanted the lesson, what did she do? She climbed the mountain to Pai Mei. Pai Mei don't come down the mountain. Pai Mei don't come down the mountain. with that, man. It's, I mean, it's, I can't argue with that, man. It, this this is needed. People need to start seeking it now. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, this, I'm just saying this was a way of life. This is this is how we got down way back. 
This is ancestral. This is this is how we honor our our, our exalted ancestors came up with this. This ain't something that you just pulled out. You know, even though it says Chinese, but you asked them where they got it from. You understand what I'm saying? Is you know, you, you this 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 is the same thing as Ephi and all the other stuff, man. But yeah, this if you I tell I tell people a story, man. If you go in your Bible, there's a story where uh Jonah and the whale. Mm. Remember that story? Jonah and the whale. So Jonah was supposedly, you know, God wanted Jonah to go to to, to go to a certain destination and deliver a message. <laughs> Basically, Jonah like, man, I don't want to go deal with them niggas, man. I'm tired of them niggas, man. Uh, come on, I don't want to deal with that. I want to go over here. I'm gonna go chill. And he didn't. He he like, look, I ain't going. I ain't, I'm not doing. It. He wasn't following instructions. So he went to the seaport. Opposite direction. Opposite direction. And it was this boat. This boat that just came back in. It just came. It was making big money. What it was catching all the fish. It was happy. It was yo. It was. It was doing their thing. Joe, so look, man, where y'all going? Yo, we going over here, opposite direction. Can I get a ride? Cool. Everything good. They making money. Come on, hop on board. So he hop on the boat, man. They chilling. They on the water and everything. Ain't no fish coming up. They ain't getting no fish. All of a sudden, they, 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 their, little, their little streak is gone. They ain't getting no fish. Then on top of that, a hurricane hit. Hurricane. I mean, the boat about to be capsized. They about to go down. You know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, what's going on? Why are we going? Why are we experiencing this type of luck? What's going on? You know what they did? They went to the oracle. They cast the lots. And in the Bible, they said they cast the lots. They cast the lots, lots baby. Why are we having this bad they luck? They cast the lots. You know, whatever it be, pennies, whatever. They, yo, why we? What's going on? You know what I'm saying? And when they cast the lot, Jonah. <laughs> that nigga's why you having this luck. You know what they did to Jonah? They asked him to stay. Nah, he threw his ass over. <laughs> he threw his ass in the water, man. They didn't, they didn't go nah, take him back to shore. Nah, they threw. They, they wanted that to stop immediately. That, that boat was about to get capsized. He got to go. The reading said you got to get rid of the problem. And they threw his ass in the water. And that's when the whale swallowed him. You know, the whale swallowed Jonah. And they said Jonah was in the whale's belly for days, man. And he. You know, he finally said, yo, okay, God, I'm going to go ahead and do what you tell me to do. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get back on my destiny. And uh, the way the whale spit him out on land and he got to handle his business. But what I'm saying is... They said, he covered the, they said he covered the ground. So he got there like three times as fast <laughs> as if he would have been <laughs> he was running the, he first, was the first time. Yo, he know, he know ain't no game. So what I'm saying, that story, there's a lot of stories like that in the Bible. And, it's no, and, and most of them, even when, uh, when, 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 when the story is when Jesus got, um, when, um, when, when after Jesus got killed and Judas betrayed Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. So it supposed to be 12 apostles. It was down 11. And they had to find a replacement. And so they cast the lots to find out, yo, who, who are we going to replace them with? And then they, they, that's how they chose a new, a new apostle. All oh, this is in the Bible, bro. Just, just Google cast the lots in the Bible. But, what I'm saying is this was ancient tools, and ain't no hocus pocus. It's mathematics. God is a mathematician. Everything you see is based upon numbers. Binary. Sacred geometry, binary, zeros and ones, the same language computers is made of. All the shit you, you ever see of uh, these video games and virtual reality, zeros and ones. All of this computer language. So when we ask these questions, a certain combination is based on that zeros and ones. Give us these images. Our ancient ancestors figured this shit out a long time ago. And they put these numbers with these images and these words. And here we got the I Ching. You know what I mean? But in this, in this certain situation, it told you the binary, the math behind what happened to Brother Nipsey. And, you know, 44, assertion of power. So this is a tool, man. And, you know. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I'm glad y'all came to join us. I'm yeah. glad we had an intelligent conversation. Yeah, that was deep, bro. Also, what you need to do is find you somebody you can have intelligent conversations with and stop being around emotionally led by the nose cats. You know what I'm saying? He didn't had tragic experiences happen in his life where he started getting emotional. Sometimes he called me about something. He'd be kind of hype, and he I'd say, did you drop them pennies? Nah. He'd be like, nah, not yet. I'd be like, well, call me back. <laughs> or he'd call me with a situation, I'd be like, well, since he said, no, I said, I'm finna drop him, then I'll call you back. And all he wanted is, all, 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 he just wants the, the numbers and the hexagrams. Like, he got the whole joint memorized. I don't have that. So, um, hopefully we're gonna have a class on this. Uh, I'm gonna have a class on this shortly. I don't know what he gonna do. He should have been taught it. 
I've been waiting for him you know, to teach a class. I mean, if you ever want, you know, ask the people, dude, you know. No, I ain't got to ask the people. Yeah. I done already asked them. You late. Cool. You late. We'll but this more my thing. We got the tech now. We got the studio. We already had the tech. I just was waiting to see what you going to do some. Well, it was time now, you know. My it's brother. been time. These drugs been needed this. It's time now. He was not. Okay, it's I'm going I'm, I'm to get to him. It's time. You know what I'm saying? It was uh, really who? Shh. Our job is not to determine when they're ready. It's to determine when I'm going to teach it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So another thing is I didn't know what the price point was because I done seen jokers, you know, lose over a quarter million dollars disobeying the coins. You know, I done seen jokers make a whole bunch of bread obeying the coin. So I don't know what the price of that. So maybe I've been waiting on that. But it's coming here shortly on how to use the I Ching as a divination system in your life. Now, the other piece, though, when you subtract 33 from 44, you get hexagram 11, which is um, peace, 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 peace. 44 was the coming together. If we retreat, we get 11, which is going to be peace. After time. After time. <laughs> After time. Right. Get some space between the two of them. How many times you don't walk out the house, not you, but those of you watching, how many times you don't walk out the house and you just get mad at something? Let something else, you know what I'm saying? Let, what is that? Let cooler heads prevail. You know what I'm saying? So that's it for us this evening on a scale of 1 to 10. What did you look, um, how did we do on our share? We ain't trying to teach you nothing. We're just trying to challenge how you think. Um, I did, I am calling um, Ali Muhammad stupid and T.I. stupid. I said that. Anybody saying that's got something to do with it, they killed him because he was about to release a Dr. Sabi. He was bigger than Dr. Sabi to me because Dr. Sabi. I mean, Dr. Sa I mean, he was bigger because he went to the community. I, I really don't even like to compare ancestors. I don't really even got to compare ancestors about who was doing what. But they neither was that kind of a threat to think that. Well, if Nipsey released this, the condition that we are in. This is my. This is what they say at the end of it when you give your final commentary. The condition that Black folks is in is going to take more than changing your diet, okay? Because we don't love ourselves. We don't love ourselves, we don't make the type of sacrifices, and we definitely don't practice the type of discipline that we need, okay? Changing diet is hard as hell. But I know some evil-ass vegetarians, too. I'm going to tell you that off the gate. Uh, you got some closing comments? Man, the closing comments, I want to just say, man, remember, you can't take none of this shit with you, man. only thing you can take with you is your character, man. So if you ain't making yourself an asset, in some type of way to your community or your family or, you know, people in general, you know what I'm saying? What's that right there? A microphone, but the way you going right now, ham, I got to act like I got oh, a pretend oh, yeah, microphone. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No only doubt. thing you got yeah, is your yeah, character. Yeah. Only thing you take with you is your character, man. And if, if you ain't building that, that's your treasure. That's what you take to your afterlife with you, man. And like I said, if you a piece of shit on earth, you won't. You ain't really making yourself... I mean, what they need you for in the afterlife. I mean, you, you need more pieces of shit in the afterlife. You know what I'm saying? So now nah, they're just going to... Like the, like, the, like the little video, they're going to throw your shit away and erase your memory. You come back, get it on them, but none of that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? You need a fresh, clean slate so you can do this shit again. Work on that shit, man. But yeah, you ain't getting out that. It's the work, spiritual work, man. That's what it means. Spirituality is nothing but behavior modification. You know what I'm saying? Whatever religion you may call yourself, if you're a Christian... Behave like Jesus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If you're a Muslim, behave like the prophet. Like oh. he did. Take his example, his, his character, the way he behaved. If you if you uh, 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 Buddha, Krishna, whatever, behave like whatever the head of that religion is, was an example for you to model your behavior after. That's all this shit's about. Behavior modification. That's what religion is. So, yeah, that's my, my closing thoughts, man. You know, find whatever system that you practice, you know, learn it and, and work on that, man. But that's all you take with you. I'm out. On a scale of 1 to 10, please let us know how we did this evening. 10 is you liked it. We're going to come back with some more heat like this. On uh, uh, 1, y'all don't never want to see us again. We appreciate it. Look at Carl. Did you just ask about him? What's up, baby? <laughs> two steak, yo. We need two steak, baby. He, he, asked, he, I, yo, he please, just man, asked about you talk, today. Talk to Aaron, man. He just Yo, that two steak shit. They're not talking. They're not talking. Oh, uh, man. They're not talking. Yo, let's buy the rights for two for two steak. And do, well, you know, that shit was crazy. Man, yo. I need the money. He just asked about you today talking about where is Tuesday. What are you going to do with some of Tuesday? Yeah. Um, 
my announcement um my announcement is I'm working on a cruise October 31st it's gonna have a um, masquerade party and I'm thinking that we're gonna dress up it's gonna be like mm -hmm. the alchemists all the alchemists oh, wow. are coming together okay. so you're gonna represent you can represent a hexagram. It's gonna be like a mystic masquerade. Yeah. So you can represent a zodiac sign. You could represent King Wen. You, yeah. you gonna have to represent something that you gotta tell a story about your outfit. We can't just walk up to you and be like, "I'm Catwoman." You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be that's dope. Right. You gotta or you can come up. You can come as a tarot card. You can come as a zodiac sign. All that. So if if it pulls off, which I'm trying to do something, get this together this week. It's gonna leave out of Miami. Halloween night, we're going to have a masquerade, mystic masquerade party. Thursday, the next day, we're going to stop in Key West for shopping that morning. The next day, we're going to Cozumel. We're going to be in Cozumel for five hours. We're going to the um, pyramids. So it's one of the ruined spots that they have, and I'm going to lead an excursion. And then the Sunday, we're going to have um, all day at sea. I'm going to have classes on the boat two or three days out of the trip. So it's going to be two classes with Coach Kyrie on the high seas, and an excursion, and a masquerade party. And then on Sunday, there's going to be an all-white party or a jersey party because it's going to be football season. So you can mm -hmm. wear your jersey to represent a football team. So it's going to be all types that you want to come. And I don't want, and, but I want everybody that's doing the magic to come through. I'm thinking the budget, the whole thing going to be like $750. All right? You're going to have to put 100 Now, that's for an outside cabin. All right? So I think it's, it's five. It's, yeah, it's 750 for an outside view cabin 700 for inside view cabin and that's on two people being inside so if you want a cabin to yourself it's going to cost you 1500 so two people in a cabin is 750 a piece so go ahead and put that to the side it's going to be a hundred dollar deposit and then it's going to be either two or three payments because everything got to be in by july okay for your joint to be secure by november uh, next, I'm going to be in Vegas for a relationship astrology workshop either on the 11th or the 24th. Um, M. Rain is doing something in Atlanta on the 19th of May. I'm going to be doing, I'm, a, I'm working to try to get on that card as well. That's going to be talking about the divine feminine energy. So, big shout out to M. Rain. Um, that's going to be crazy. Um, I'm going to be in Detroit on my birthday, the 17th. With the toad, but you ain't even with the P funk yet. And I showed you about the I told you about the toad, Mike Tyson, the mm -hmm. MEO, the God particle. When is this? That's the seventeenth. Seventeenth of what? May, my birthday. Okay. Full moon on the eighteenth. You coming to them? I May. Oh, and I'm oh and the Smoke and Grow Rich Tour, April the eighteenth. So please go to smokeandgrowrichtour.com or my particular link is Coach K Live dot com forward slash 420 money because you're thinking that you can only grow marijuana or open a dispensary you're missing all types of opportunities in this soon to be trillion dollar industry all right so if you plant yourself beside where it's supposed to be i didn't listen the reason the video is so late is because we was looking at they was on a phone call about the open grow law that just got passed in south carolina for hemp and how much seeds cost and they were just going over the over the technical piece about if you want to grow hemp you ain't got to grow marijuana son you can uh -huh. get you can be growing hemp and uh -huh. if you know like i know with what hemp is doing i would if you got some land an acre two acres whatever just you could be real smart right now but all that's going to be covered at the smoke and grow rich tour in denver california that's april the Colorado. Colorado. What did I say? California. You, you saw right. yeah. I'm trying to you come to Cali. Next week. You're going to Cali come too. Come to Oakland, baby. All of the 420 friendly states. The tour is going yeah, to. Yeah, we coming, baby. The tour is going to all 420 friendly states. So if your state is not friendly to 420, you got to go to a state where we're gonna be at. Okay. So we're trying to go to Detroit. <clears throat> trying to go to Chicago. If you just came in, please press two. If you share this video, please press two. If you share this video. And announce yourself. I'm Coach Kyle, your Team Taurus, Atlanta, Georgia. Destiny Grind, Team Aquarius, also in the A. Um, I'm yeah. telling about, yeah, we got the upcoming Smoke and Grow Rich podcast that we're going to be doing weekly. 
and we're gonna be interviewing people in the industry talking about the different opportunities. So uh yes, yes, that's what that's what you know we, we come That's what the green stuff. screen, yeah, that's what the stuff. setting, yeah. all of this right here is gonna be yeah. part of the new setup. If he ain't always over there, you're gonna see me up in this yeah. joint. So um yeah, so but we showing y'all this like premiere, one thing at a time studios and you know, that's how we're gonna be doing it. Also the <clears> financial <throat> sorcery is coming. That's the one I can't wait to do. Financial sorcery. Mm. Several guests will be coming on. Um, talking about that bread. Hmm? Talking about that bread. Yeah, the financial bread? sorcery. The yeah. paper. All the bag. The entire the, the product. Uh, the Ken Cole. The Gucci bag. The Louis you got, Vuitton. You got no sorcery to get that money. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're doing to get it. Sorcery. Uh, you can't beat sorcery. You, you can't. Uh, you and I. If if if, if they using sorcery sorcery to get money, why can't I? That's my philosophy. If you using sorcery, then why can't I use sorcery? <clears throat> Especially if you getting like you getting it. Nah. Okay. So yeah, that's so they ain't just luck with them. Nah, they ain't right. that, that luck. <laughs> they got pennies, rituals, tools, <laughs> altars. They ain't playing. I just got that from Cuba. That's what I'm saying. That's the only way they keeping Cuba down is using some high end sorcery. Me and Blue was talking about that yesterday. He was like, "Who these niggas outsourcing for their sorcery? Politics couldn't keep Cuba down. That's out." You know what I'm saying? They couldn't do it like they did Puerto Rico or Guam or something like that. They had to go use some serious sorcery. Then they put the politics in it to manage the sorcery. But we'll get into that into yeah, the shows, yeah. yo. Upcoming season is going to be crazy. Yo, holla, baby. That's it. And also, my cash app. If y'all want to start working on birthday presents already, you know it's Coach Kair. Cash app, son. Hey, I'm, ta- I'm open for all donations. It's Aries season. I'm not going to start infringing yet. I'm going to wait until April the 20th. Watch what I do then. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna open up the doors of the church. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, check check me out on Facebook, Destiny Grind, D- Destiny Grind. I'm on Instagram at Destiny Grind and at Smoke and Grow Rich Tours. And you know, follow us, check me out, and if you wanna DM me, you know, ask some questions about the I Ching or whatever, you know. I'm here. But, um, Don't worry about the I Ching now. Ask him about the Smoke and Grow Rich Tour. Y'all gonna ask about the I Ching uh, after, the after the 18th. He focused right now. Uh, you wanna know about I Ching? Ask what, me. That's, that's why you need your coach with you. Right? Ask me. Ask me about the I Ching right now. I don't want him talking about nothing, but staying focused right now. So we ain't, we ain't, we ain't talking about the playoffs right now. No. No, we ain't talking about right Preseason. Preseason. Uh, Preseason. Uh, uh, okay. Preseason. Yeah. Right. 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 In the offseason moves on I Ching. Y'all missed that. Gotcha. Now the ball is in play. You know what I'm saying? Smoke and grow rich. You wanna you wanna learn how to sell legal weed? Come on at us, man. Or get into some type of some type of cannabis related business. Yo, come on at us. It's two days. It's it's, the, it's August 18th, August 19th. April. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. April 18th, April 19th. You know those are the two days. You gonna we gonna t- you gonna tour. You know a couple of facilities. You gonna tour the growth facilities. You gonna tour the dispensaries. How they gonna get around? Oh city? yeah, we we got a bus. You know that's gonna take you around where you need to be, and at the, and then we have a we gonna put you with the consultants to let you know what you can do to get started in your state. And then if you stick around, what they got felonies or something like that. Yeah, we, it's ways around stuff like that. You know, don't, don't worry about that. You know, what I'm saying it's ways around stuff like that. But but listen, uh, yo, check us out, and then following. 19th is the 20th, so that's 420. So you might want to stick around and enjoy yourself at the 420 festival. It's literally gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna be lit. Listen to the opportunity you got. Yeah. On the 18th, you tour the city and all of the industries behind the scenes. On the 19th, you learn how all the parts and how it moves. Then you stay one more day for 420 in Denver. I really don't have to mention what's gonna be going on that day. Yeah. If I was you, I wouldn't leave to the twenty first. <laughs> I wouldn't leave to the twenty first. If I was you, you know, me, me personally, I'd probably just be going around taking some pictures, and I might eat half an edible. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't smoke no more, but I still get high. Okay, but uh, you get you some CBD, man. Get you some. You know, you, know, you, need, you need some of that, uh, that antidote, man. Get you some of that. Yeah, get some CBD. But that's another show, baby. You coming? So I ain't gonna do too much today. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna holler at y'all. Peace. Peace. And that's a wrap. And that's a wrap.